Oh. But yeah, uh, the learning is learning. So, uh, you know, it's interesting to see. People talk about comparing video games to sports all the time. So here's a nice little crossover crossover player. Right. And here's the thing about Alex in this game. Round Unlike one. Third Strike, he's a lot lamer. Fight. He's a lot lamer. Um, he has to go for huge counter hits. Right. But, like, he doesn't have a lot of constant pressure. He kind of has one shot and then he's out. Exactly. So but I, he does have a big footsie game. Yeah. Like, you kind of have to make your guesses count. He's going for the four roundhouse, and that is a true mix up. Yes, that Lariat's plus three in the six frame grab exactly beats any jab. Yeah. The unfortunate thing, though, is he is pushed out after that guess. So he gets one solid guess and he has to make it happen afterwards. Now, Mika, though, <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, I really don't crazy. Think I need to say anything. She gets as many Mika. guesses as she wants in a row, and it's gonna kill. Yep, this is gonna kill. Super solid play from Sweet Slidey Goodlow. Completely shuts him out. Every time you saw Andre press a medium punch there, he poked after. They're all at yeah, least minus right. two. He recognized the minus two, both the chop and the clap. Also, the forward medium kicks minus two as well. So I like the recognition. Uh, the spacing in the neutral is a little rough, especially for anyone with a fast dash. And as we were saying, unlike Alex. Mika is plus two after every situation and gets the guess over and over and over again. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh... Oh, frame trapped. <laughs> yeah. And he is minus three there, but he is spaced out, so there isn't a real punish. So, of course, Alex's V-Trigger has kind of two parts. The first one where he cancels and gets a guess on a poke, and the second part where he gains the parry and the lariat. Yes. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see either of those there as Andre shut him out with like Fight seven away. grabs in that round. You know, uh, Fight. It, it's a weird thing to say, but Daddy Gugolo got punished for being smart. Right. He blocked too much in the corner, a six or seven command grabs in a row. And, uh, you know, Andre made the read, so. That stop is plus two, so you cannot challenge after it. And let's see if he goes for the meaty slash or the meaty standing heavy kick. They come yeah. at different timings, and it's hard to know which one's coming. Right. He wasn't counter hit there, so I can only assume he was holding up. Probably. And, and I, here comes the guessing game. Yeah. Cross under and back into the corner. Oh, oh that's so dirty. Reset. And this will kill. So Andre takes game one. Yeah. I hear a lot of people complaining about our Mika setups in terms of, hey, I haven't seen that one before. But at the end of the day, it's always going to be left, right, or throw. Uh, and, it's going to be the same. And the best advice I can give in those situations is to commit to one side blocking. Yeah, if don't you try, try to, to react, don't that's try to exactly look. when you get caught is switch yeah. blocking. Because the whole point of the setup is to make it look visually deceiving. So, you, you, yeah. It's so like you have Marvel. to guess Come one in. direction or other oh, and, and just hope you're right. Because direction, frankly, nice if point. you try to if you try to react, you'll miss either way. Yeah. Nice counter poke on the slide. Usually when it comes to Mika, I like to guess the cross up option. Yes, every totally. Time in the corner. <laughs> and she's so scary because she can throw you back into the corner. Yeah. So so either way, she can end the combo with herself in a proper position. Yeah. And he's got the uh, connection on the alpha counter on max range on that forward roundhouse. That was, that was impressive. Alex's alpha counter is super sick because he's plus four after a dash. So he goes back into his mix-up situation yeah. if he lands one. And same with Mika. Now let's see if he's going to get thrown the same way. Oh, nice. Very nice dash. Yeah, he was looking for the alpha counter. So he knew Andre was going for the forward roundhouse that time. Now I want to see him, uh, when I say play inside the pocket. I kind of mean playing inside your opponent's optimal flow rate. I want to see him play inside the pocket and kind of oh! fade out. Oh, wow. <laughs> Big buttons. Big buttons. Caught him with a forward round, uh, forward fierce. Catches round him again. Two. I want to see him play inside the pocket Point. and kind of get that forward medium punch to clap on block and uh, make Andre whip it. Yes. Um, I don't think Andre's taking for me, and so I want to see him call that out. Goes for the dash setup. After he's conditioned him with a couple stand roundhouses, he feels safe to dash. Yeah, good reaction. This is his best setup situation, yeah. but a little too late and gets mashed. Yeah, you gotta imagine if an ex NFL player has good reactions. <laughs> that is always is zero. You should be mashing. Minus four. Yeah. Uh, unless they are Super using tool assist, uh, that is minus four. Almost impossible. Wow, big damage here from Andre. He is gonna get the super. This may just kill. I don't know if it will. Alex has a lot of life. I think he's going to have one more touch. Wow, and it kills. Okay. <laughs> the uh, Karen effect. Yeah, and unlike uh, in Street Fighter 4, supers in this game have a different minimum scaling. So they're always going to do, you know, at least 200 or so damage. 45%. 45%. 45%. So, yeah, like, whereas regular moves can go down to 10% or so, supers will always do a lot of damage. Yeah. And I like that optimized combo from uh, Andre. You don't see that too often. Getting the fierce after the stand strong. Going into Dizzy, he did use a lot of buttons. Look for a reset here. 
Wow. There it is. And that wasn't even a combo. Not sure what uh, Sweet Daddy was was pressing. I just said that. <laughs> so Sweet. down strong on uh, counter hit. People use it. It's minus on block, but it beats throws while also being a meaty. And it's just an interesting. No, when you say beats throws by being a meaty, is that by by nature? Even if you do it late, being... like it doesn't actually meaty them, but instead it's airborne. Okay, I gotcha. So it's a little easier to time. Yeah, good anti-air. That does take some presence of mind to anti-air with that crouch pierce like that. Huge reward, though. Yeah. Ooh. You don't see that landed too often. The jump grab by Alex kind of requires some impeccable spacing. He has done like four or five stomps so far in this yeah. set. So it's set up for it well. Because trying to jump out of the stomp is really hard. Yeah. And that's the one thing about first to five. You see some long game meta that you typically don't see in first to threes. Or first to two tournament sets. Wow. Very nice. This will kill. Yeah, got him to respect that. That was a really nice dash The forward. stand heavy kick into beat trigger is like plus 14 or 15 on Brock. Really? So he has a lot of options. He can check low, he can dash, he can do various things. Huh. Unfortunately, Alex should not be letting people jump at him. He has enough Especially if you have bar. The everything. EX knee is too good. It's too good. It's hard for Smika though, because of course she has down fierce. She has a jump in. She has dashing up and doing whatever she wants. You have to look at all these options at once. And it's not easy to look for all of them. And she does have a uh, alternative jump arc with a belly flop. Yes. So. Oh, very nice though. <laughs> the auto throw of Ford Media Punch beats him out even after getting yeah. carried. And we're going to need to see some adjustment here. I'd like to see a parry here. Oh, darn. Yeah. So Alex is one of the better characters getting out of the Deshko setups as a result of his parry, but Andre intelligently keeps him in block stun so he can't ever try it. Yes, that is correct. Nice counter poke. Yeah, the stand is good. Um, I, I still want to see Daddy Goodlo kind of check some of those mid-range pokes that aren't safe on the lock. Uh, I want to see the call out on that. And he's kind of getting just counter hit at times where he shouldn't be getting counter hit. So, oh, there's the belly flop. This should be it right here. Look and so the sure. reason you do that mic there is because in an already scaled combo, what matters more than doing the optimal damage beforehand is the fact that the mic powers up her super. Correct. And so that doesn't scale more than 45%, so you want to beat that boy up. Yeah, it works out well. Yep. Daddy Gigolo getting a little coaching on the sidelines here. Um, one thing I'd like to note is that after Alex's EX knee, or any knee, he's plus four Round under one. a dash. And he's been going for the Larry. Right which is a little too slow, actually, and will get jabbed out. We've seen that happen two or three times already. I'd like to see him do stand medium punch instead. Of course, the Lariat there gets a bunch of annihilation. Yeah. Jeez, man. That boy Alex is swinging. And you still, you, you still can get the stand jab after the stand strong, so it's not like you don't have a hit confirm. Oh, went for the reset attempt. Nice jump out. Oh, yeah. and unfortunately, you can't do that against the clap because it auto grabs yeah, right I'm after. I'm not sure if Andre's reading that or if he's still just doing it because I feel like he might just be doing it. I think he's just doing it. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, if you're counter poking with clap at a range like that, that's only going to come out on hit. Yes. All right, the meaty elbow minus two against V reversal. This is one of Mika's best situations. It's after a V reversal. Same thing again. The blender is very real. Yes. Gets him in the corner. Oh, back throws. And I like that because I I'm not going to lie. I'm the biggest. Uh, I I'm guilty of forward throwing when I'm in the corner when I should be back throwing. Yeah, totally. And it takes a lot of presence of mind to make sure that you can do the back throw. So here we're going to see, uh, hopefully, Sweet Daddy Goodlow play a lot more conservative and just anti-air a single jump or down strong a single poke. Yeah, he's in a situation right now where he doesn't have to win. He just has to not lose. Dash and forward is the easiest way to lose. Yeah. But of course, stand up anti here and immediate down strong. Mika can't do anything about that except for critical art. Fight. That'd be right. her only invincible option. Fight. Because of course, while she has armor, it starts up late. So if you meteor, it yeah. won't come out. And that was a really good optimized damage combo. Now, I'm not, you know, I think Daddy Goodlow used to play Street Fighter 4. I'm, I'm sure it's possible. I think he played Yun, because I think I remember some of the Dallas players talking about playing him online. So, but regardless, back to the match. Oh, and oh, tries nice. to anti-air, but the, the, you know, the drop yeah. changes the timing, making your anti-air whip. Which is why versus Mika, stand jabs are often the safest option, because they'll, yeah. you'll be able to block afterwards at least. Correct. Oh, the wake up. Andre's just never scared. This might kill. Yeah. 
Allies has a thousand health, I believe. Oh, he's alive with one hit, though. Now, one touch he can is super himself. Good. One touch is still good for Daddy Goodload. This is essentially an even match. And he can super here. And he's plus. It's V-Trigger. This won't kill, but he puts him in a good mix-up situation. Hey, uh, that probably would have chipped if he had done anything. He didn't like, have a choice. When Andre dashed forward there, that was, was over. That Where was you at, Houston? Yeah. Let's go. Make some noise. You, have, you, can't, you can't do that. Uh, he didn't have an EX bar to uh, EX flip over, so he, yeah. Exactly. Alex is super at five frames. We'll tag him out of a jump out. If he blocked, oh, he would have gotten chipped. Yeah. Dashing up there is an instinct because it's so good normally, but in that situation, it got him killed. That's only minus four. Alex has no punish yeah. option at that and, range. Uh, <laughs> I feel like they're playing truth or dare right now with the... <laughs> with the, with the and that's just how Andre is. One awesome thing about Alex's heavy slash yeah. is he can option select whether or not to do the grab afterwards on right. hit. Because obviously if it's wow. out of range, we'll only come out on hit. And Force good. crush counter combo and the throw. Really good adjustment by Daddy Goodlow. I mean, you know, not to make the sports analogy again, but as a professional athlete, you know, hey, I'm down, I don't care, I can adjust, no nerves, no pressure, we're playing. And I think that's a big mistake people make in this game is they get down and they get concerned. He has so many matches left. You know, Andre still has to win two more in order to win. He has plenty of time to adapt. Right. And he's done a good job so far. Yeah, he's doing. he's been doing a lot more of the belly flops, and he's getting a lot of mileage. Um, he's also doing the, <laughs> the, the drop kicks. I'm not quite sure what he's going for, per se, with that, but, I mean... Wow, he, that was the first time he did not automatically cancel into the throne. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Even Andre can adjust, apparently. Yeah. OMG. <laughs> it is Andre. So they both have a full meter here. What that means is that the critical art's an option for both players. Their only invincible move for both of them. Yeah, and I like using the early super. I like using the I early I think it's a really good idea. Because he lets you build more bar back, obviously. Yes. You get the most efficient use of your meter. You build bar so fast in this game. And oh, no punish, unfortunately, on the whiff cloud. That's like a minus yeah. 1,000. And he also did the target combo with a short stand strong. That is minus 5. I yeah, don't know Alex, Alex can probably it. stand short, which oh, is okay. 5 frames and punish it. Fortunately, that only combos on counter hit the strong and the strong. Yeah. He misses the stand jab hit for him afterwards. Oh, oh, the double parry, but still blocked, and oh, that will man. very likely kill. And that's going to put it in 4-1. 4-1, Andre's 1-up. Daddy Goodlow's shown some forms of adjustment. Let's see if it's enough to take him through. The biggest thing he needs to do is stand jab anti-air. That way, if Andre does the butt drop, he'll block it and be able to punish with his own stand strong and get a hot combo afterwards. Hot combo. Word of the day. Hot <laughs> combo is always the word of the day. <laughs> okay, so Sweet Round Daddy one. Goodlow's still in there getting advice from Kid Viper, Fight. another Houston player. And some people would say that this game has shades of anime. Yeah. And Kid Viper is a prominent Houston anime player. Yeah, I think part of that's the variation in text. You know, you can wake up in multiple ways in this game, which has not been possible in other Street Fighter games as of yet. Yeah. And you kind of have to adjust your meaty timing accordingly. Yes. It, it makes the game a lot more active in all phases. Yeah. The one character who ignores that is Mika, who forces you to neutral tech every time and just yeah. bodies you for it. <laughs> Even this is a force neutral tech. Yeah. And it's plus two after a dash. That will beat anything he mashes. So hard Andre to do. doing a good job of getting all of the command grabs that round. And I'm a firm believer that when you play against a command grab character, they are one read away from getting killed. Oh, yeah. Uh, you you got to threaten that neutral jump. You just have to. And, and I think Sweet Daddy Goodlow has been overall too patient in this matchup and, yeah. and not willing enough to jump. Like I've said, getting punished for being quote unquote too smart. And meanwhile, Andre is jumping onto yeah, every one of Goodlow's uh, command grab opposite. attacks. I mean, that might be the tail of the tape. And this next setup at this hits will win. Yeah. Stays and Andre takes side. a 5-1 over Sweet Daddy Goodlow. They said, we're playing Guilty Gear. Quick match so far. So Texas is having trouble so far. Texas lost 0 the first two right two now. Sets. But hey, we are in Houston. 